Where'd everybody go? There was like a Oh my god. What's up guys? I am no one and welcome back to Camo Grind. I'm trying to go through all my base camo so I can start working on gold and platinum. And I feel like using a battle rifle right now. So today we're gonna be unlocking the stalking cat and also the internal flame camos for the Lockman 762. I'm really excited to actually get the internal flame camo because this thing looks sick. I really love the orange accent on it. So I do need to get mounted kills for the stalking cat camo. So I'm just gonna go into shoot house because I figure it's probably easier to get mounted kills with a battle rifle on shoot house than it is in shipment i mean you could definitely get it in shipment as well but it's probably gonna be a bit hectic and the other camo is just getting double kills so either that's gonna happen while i'm getting these mounted kills or i'll just go into shipment afterwards and, and get it really quick but yeah there's just there's so many more spots like good spots to mount oh shit i'm gonna die right away okay nice so that's one already down there's so many good spots to mount uh in shoot house as opposed to shipment so I just feel like it's gonna be much easier here if I can actually tell where they're coming from. And some of these spots are a bit weird because there's always stuff blocking your way. There's like wood everywhere. Also, I have no idea where the hell people are, so I'm just like searching. I'll just post up here for a second. Somebody's bound to walk through here, right? I'm starting to wonder if they have a full team or not, like what's going on here? Oh my god. Of course I didn't mount up either. This is a problem with playing any map that isn't shipment. You just spend most of your time trying to find people, like what is this? Damn, and then every time I find somebody I get shot in the back. Yeah, the car just blew up in my face and I survived. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I feel like I'm just gonna go back into shipment. Like this, this is what I was saying last last video. There's just there's no reason to try to get your camos in anything other than shipment. Like unless you're going for long shots, just, just go in shipment because it's gonna be so much faster. Like I forgot how slow it is to even just find people sometimes on some of these maps. Like this isn't a large map by any means, but still. And if only I would mount up before getting these kills, but I can't mount on this wall anyway, so... There we go, there's another one. I'm gonna get like, like five in this entire match. God dang. Hello? All right, so I'm gonna switch to full auto because I, I, I mean, I guess maybe that's gonna be a bit easier. Why was I using single fire? I don't know. I mean, that makes it a little bit easier, yeah. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely remember to use full auto when you're using the battle rifles because, uh, yeah, I was, I was struggling quite a bit there. Seems to be a little bit easier now. <laughs> can't mount on anything bro, like, it's just the worst angles possible. Jeez. Lovely, yeah, so I'm just gonna go into shipment because like it's just not worth it to try anything else. Yeah, I went 12 and 21, let's go. I got nine, nine mount kills or whatever, and we, uh, some of those, I already had like three or something, so I literally got six mount kills an entire match. I'm gonna finish it off in one match here in shipment, like easily. Yeah, definitely gonna, definitely gonna stick to shipment. Like, I don't even care that this, this, this cash is in my way. Let's get that out of there. There we go. And I'll just sit here and do this. 
I don't know why I didn't consider this before. It's a bit, it's a bit scummy, for sure. But you know, I gotta get these mounted kills. I'm, I just wasted so much time trying to get them in, in shoe house. I mean, I still have to try to mount on stuff. It's gonna be an issue. Shit, this guy doesn't get out of my way. Come on, I was, just, I was just mounted there. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure where the best... Like, I think this is going to be the best spot right here. I just got to be patient. Yeah, I just got to be a little bit more patient. Oh, hello. Shit, I didn't see him at time. Yeah, I'm just going to... Oh, shit. Oh, there's snipers all over the place. Let's go. Oh no, I need to reload! This is also a really good mounted spot right here too. Holy shit, I could actually hit my shots. Damn. Flashbangs, dude. OP, OP. There we go. Nice. Keep coming. I need these mounted kills. Oh, the recoil is a little high. I can't, I can't turn that far when I'm mounted, shit. Get out of my way, jeez. I'm on a mission here. I don't need you in my way. I don't know where they're coming from over here. Oh, from everywhere, I swear to shit, man. This is just so much better, I don't even have to think about where the enemies are, they're just, there's always enemies. Like, I like the ma the other maps, but it's just so much slower, and when you're going for camos and stuff, you just, you just want to be able to focus on just killing people. You don't want to be looking for people all over the place, and worrying about whether they're behind you. And also, just the, the way this game is so much more slowed down than previous Call of Duties. I find this is like almost the only way to get a fast-paced, fun match where you, you actually have people running around and not just standing in one spot the entire time. Definitely, uh, I'm definitely very happy that Shipment 24-7 is back and hopefully it stays for a while. Ah, I just, just got the mounted kills, let's go. So now I can just go for double kills, which is even better. I just sprint around, turn my brain off a little bit and just try to get some kills. Oh, nah, that's not a great start, but... Oh, he was coming right at me. I stopped having to mount and I just started dying like over and over. I probably only got a few double kills left to go here. If I didn't already get it, I might have gotten it before the mounted kills, honestly. Oh, they're just gonna keep coming. Holy shit, they just kept coming. I actually really do like the marksman rifles. They feel they feel pretty strong. Like, cannot believe that I kind of forgot that they had full auto mode for for a bit there. That was a little bit of a struggle, but with full auto mode, these things kind of absolutely destroy. They have very low recoil. The, the fire rate is obviously not very high, but as long as you have decent accuracy, you're okay. Uh, and with attachments, you can really lower the recoil quite a lot to get very very pinpoint accuracy a lot of the time. So it's not even that hard to hit a lot of your shots. So. And with the damage that these things can put out, it's, it's very satisfying. It just feels like a more heavy-duty assault rifle. Oh. Oh, come on, I can't see. That was going to be so satisfying right there. The gas. Where'd everybody go? There was like a... Oh my god. I saw them all on the map in that corner and then nobody was there. That's the one thing. So the initial recoil is a little higher. Like it does, it does go, uh, it does kick pretty hard at the start. But once you can get used to that, it's it's fairly accurate. Why? Oh, just block me. Dang. Bro, <laughs> they spawn sometimes. Like that, that guy was literally. Stizzy. That guy saw me spawn. Oh my god. What the f- I, was that an enemy? If he was an enemy, holy shit, I just stared at him there. Yeah, I actually haven't 
seen anything about season three yet. I know that a lot of people have been saying a lot of a lot of stuff about it, but I haven't watched any videos or anything about it yet. So I don't know what they're actually planning on releasing for season three. Um, I'm probably gonna look it up later today. So I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts on all the new changes that they're they're gonna be making. Like I said, I, I don't know what they are yet, <laughs> but from what from what I saw, it seems like they're actually making some pretty big changes, and people are pretty excited about it. So. I'm excited to see what season 3 brings for sure. I definitely think we could use some, some more content. Oh hell yeah. Oh god. I'm, I had to have gotten the double kills by now for sure. Like I think I'm just, just trying to play the match out here at this point. Ninety-nine to ninety-nine. Oh shit! <laughs> Just nobody wants to get the last tag. <laughs> oh, it's not the last tag. What? I guess it goes to one fifty. Bro, why can't I hit that guy? There we go. So I'm actually thinking of starting a second channel pretty soon where I do more general gaming and I wanted to do quick one shots of new games and also games that are in the PlayStation Pass just to show off uh, different games and show people quick glimpses of games without with little spoilers just to just to give them an idea of whether or not they want to get the game. Uh, I think that'd be a really cool idea. So if you have any games on that are on the PlayStation Plus Pass that you'd like me to try out, definitely let me know. Uh, and I'll be getting the channel out very soon, so I'll, I'll be putting them in the descriptions for my videos as well. We went 40, 49 and 57. That's uh, it's not great still, but I mean we were we were going for mounted kills for for a bit there. So <laughs> All right, let's see if we got the camos. I'm pretty sure we got the double kill for sure. Oh my god, that's so unfortunate, what? It's uh, it's bugged, I guess, because, um, yeah, there's no way I didn't get a single double kill, right? Like, it's impossible, so I guess it's just bugged, which, that kind of sucks. Honestly, I'm pretty upset about that. Alright, so we got, <laughs> we got one camo, um, it's not even that great, but let's go into the firing range and look at it, I guess. Yeah, this is this this is a camo. I guess it kind of looks like swampy, and you're like uh, it's like gra that's like grass or something. Um, I mean, it, it, the colors aren't great, and it's very very scratched. So, but yeah, it's not that hard of a camo to unlock, so I, I guess it's worth it. But yeah, that's very unfortunate that we we can't get the internal flame like. Damn. Gonna have to come back later for that, I guess. But yeah, that was the Lockman 762. I'd definitely like to hear you guys' thoughts on not only this gun, but the battle rifles in general. Because I honestly, I feel like they're really fun to use. I really like the, the attack V as well, and the F attack is incredibly satisfying. So to me, they're, they're, it's a very fun weapon class. Other than that, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time.